Hey guys, I'm LB, and there's a water splash somewhere. But we're gonna check out Melted Moon Rocks by Creepix. I'm alive! Nothing to say about this one, really. Enjoy. And the request says I'd like to have some feedback on the actual puzzle as well as on the design. Do the BTS areas work? Do I need to block them with geometry instead of the glass? Do the lights look good? The Wheatley screen is not breakable, so don't waste your time on that. Otherwise, enjoy. Alright, let's get started then. Alright then, let's, let's see. Uh, vital maintenance protocols. Wow, there's a lot of them. Um, should've looked into this earlier. Well, let's try this. Do. Them. Fair enough, maybe, it, maybe it's a password. A, 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 A. No, okay. A, 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 B. Hold on, I've done both of these. Skip ahead, skip ahead. A, B, C, D, G, um, H. Oh, good news! Well, that was very loud and obnoxious, but, uh, sure thing. Ooh, that's on a timer, huh? Hmm... Whereas this is permanent... Oh, that's- that's just death. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's not do that. How do I get out of here, actually? Oh, there's a... Upper area? Okay. I think I see what I'm supposed to do. Interesting. So this is the return path, right? Yeah, looks like it. This gets us a cube that instantly drops. Does it auto-respawn? It looks like it auto-respawns. This ant line is permanently on. We can press the button multiple times, but the ant line is just permanently on. That's odd. Well, anyway, it's easy enough to see how we can save this cube. Let's do that. There we go. Problem solved. So now we can put this cube on the button. And we should be able to funnel ourselves up to here, maybe? Huh. But I think these are the BTS areas. I'm not sure they're actually necessary. I've said this before, but, like, unless you're gonna use hammer, you should probably just focus on the puzzle. And, like... Like, Fumbly Bumbly is a good example of how to do aesthetics in a Puzzle Maker map. But, uh, generally BTS stuff, you can leave alone. This actually looks fine, though. I think this looks fine. Surprisingly, I think I'm okay with it. But, a general rule of thumb is to leave BTS stuff to hammer stuff. To hammer maps, I mean, not to hammer stuff. Right, so we can do uh, this. Oh, no, that does- okay, well. That's a place I've gone now. So now that we've got that set up, I think we can take this cube in there. And put it on the button in here, right? Yep, that should work. Then I can do this. Why is the music keep coming in and out like that? I can't remember which- I can't remember which mod this music is from. Okay, that seems to be permanently on now. I'm going to assume that that's permanent. Right, well... Let's get our cube back in that case. I'll just put you right here. Thank you. Now... Here is where we get to have fun with Conversion Gel. That should be sufficient, I think. And by sufficient, I mean nowhere near enough. There we go. Apparently we're supposed to get some up there somehow, but I don't see how we're gonna do that anytime soon. How would we do that? Huh. Also, what is with the obnoxious... splashing sounds that I'm hearing? 
Is it this BTS stuff? Not this. Is it this? Oh, it's this. Yeah, this is why- this is why you shouldn't be doing BTS stuff, because this- this splashing sound is a really obnoxious thing. If it was a hammer map, you wouldn't even need this, but yeah. This is- this is just very obnoxious sounding. Well... I don't know how to turn that off, but that's- that's just loud and annoying. the best way to do this? So we can do that much, right? Oh, come on now! Now I've done it. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, honestly. There we go. Out of that place. <laughs> Not sure how that works, but sure. Anyway, I wanna head up here, so... Let's just- let's just ignore that for now, since, uh... I'm sure maybe we can figure something out. Does that just turn off the Wheatley screen? No, they go to the exit. Why is it connected to the Wheatley screen, though? Why? That's weird. Alright, let's head over here. And... do that. Head up here. So this is the exit. There's a pedestal button that reverses the funnel? It only makes me go forward. Why, though? I guess I'm supposed to spam press it to get the cube to stay on the button, or something? That splashing sound is really, really confusing me. Like, it's really distracting. That- that splashing sound needs to go. That needs to get out of here. What's the best way to make that happen, though? Um... I'm sure if I did an int remove it would just crash the game, right? Alright, well, I give up. <laughs> There's no way to get rid of that splashing sound that I know of. I don't know enough about the game to do that. Huh. The fact that that moves almost makes me think that we're supposed to, like, move a gel bomb... Like, splatter gel bomb there or something? Not sure how I would do that, though. You want me to juggle the gel? That seems rather... unintended. But I can certainly do it. Gonna take all day, but we'll do it. Where is this again? Right there. That might actually be enough. There we go. If that's what you're supposed to do, I'm not a fan of that, cause that... Cause half the time you don't know if a gel bomb's just gonna get pushed or if it's gonna splatter. Well, anyway, I guess we did it. I guess that's the thing we did. So... I guess now we take this... What is the best way to do this, though? Hmm. Like, I need to be able to, to get out of here, right? There's not another cube anywhere. And 
And that timer only lasts so long. Yeah, that's not enough time to do anything. That is not enough time for anything. Suppose I could just get Convergent Gel on the ceiling, right? There we go, that solves that problem. And then from here I think we're mostly done, right? Yeah, I think we're mostly done now. Oh, come on! Alright, so now we do, uh, this. And I guess we just press this button a bunch. This is really what my life has come down to, is pressing this button a bunch. Alright, well... Can't say I was much a fan of that. But, uh, I hope I didn't break it anyway. But I mean, when you give conversion gel, it's pretty easy to break it. Anyway, let's get out of here. As always, thank you so oh, much for watching. Royal, does it? Does I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye. Hush, Wheatley. You're so loud. You're so loud, Wheatley.